country. So let me see. Morning, you furriners from other parts of the world. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, somebody from, I think, Finland. Uh, another one from Norway. One from uh, Rio de Janeiro, which would be what, Brazil? Um, Dubai. Somebody in Dubai. You know. <laughs> wow. Um, Sasnak reaching out worldwide. <laughs> uh, that still just blows my mind that people around the world are watching this. So, um, somebody, you know, uh, people have asked, why do you only say a mor good morning America? Well, that's where I'm at. You know, I'm an American and I live in America and 99% of my audience is American. So, uh, no, not a not a slight to anybody else, but it's just that's what I started saying before I realized it was worldwide. That's what I go with. Um, every once in a while, I'll throw out another country's name, so there we go. Uh, where are we at today? We are in Arkansas. I was leaving Conway, Arkansas, heading over to Fort Smith. Um, I've been running back and forth this week, back and forth across uh, Arkansas. Remember about two two months ago, I was running back and forth to uh, 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 Van Buren. Well, there's another company over there, a uh, small, well, medium size uh, uh, dry van company. Uh, and uh, they told me they had about 12 trailers to bring over there. I think I'm on number six right now. Like six or seven, I don't remember. But anyway, um, that's what I've been doing this, this past week. Uh, I uh, alluded to what's been going on in the last video. Uh, the last couple weeks, uh, I had a bunch of good video stuff, you know, well, you know, decent video stuff, uh, interesting video stuff, I should say. One of them was Vegas, which, you know, everybody's seen Vegas, everybody's got a million views of Vegas, so not that big a deal. Gee, driver, look at this. Bed, he's impatient, and the drive van, I think, was messing with him. <laughs> but, um, anyway, <laughs> they were only about a foot apart. Wow. Uh, what else was it? Oh, anyway, I was out in Vegas, got a bunch of video, um, and then I got up to, uh, from Vegas, I left, uh, went back to Omaha. So I went back to Omaha, delivered, and then went up and Middle Nebraska picked up a trailer heading to St. Louis and on the way went north and then I came back down through Omaha. And as I'm coming down through Omaha, boom! Blah, 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 oh man, and the first thing goes in my mind, this truck's got a million and a half miles on it. First thing goes in my mind is the motor blew up. You know, I mean it just instantly. But then I realized the motor the motor noise is coming from back back there somewhere. It's not from up here. And I'm like, something's going, you know, what is that, you know, boom. And I mean, I pulled over real quick. I didn't lock the brakes up or anything, but I just, I mean, as quick as I could get slowed down and pulled over, because something back there was tearing up, and I couldn't, I didn't know what it was. So I get out, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to see a huge disaster, you know, wheel fell off or something, you know, I, who knows what it was, you know, just something big noisy. Nothing. Didn't see a thing. Hmm. Well, better get underneath. So I crawled underneath the electric chair and drive shaft. <laughs> Um, this truck is so long, it's got three drive shafts. Uh, uh, most cars have one drive shaft. Pickups have one drive shaft. Uh, goes from the transmission to the rear end. They got two U joints. Okay. Uh, most semis have two drive shafts. It goes from the transmission, U joint, drive shaft, carrier bearing, U joint, slip joint, U joint, rear end. Okay. And a carrier bearing, what it is, it's just it's a it's a bearing about halfway that carries the weight. The, the axles and or the drive shafts in these big trucks are very heavy. So if all you have support them is the, drive, the U joints and the G joints wear out fairly fast. So they support them in the middle and cut them, cut the drive shafts in, in half, make two drive shafts, and uh, there's less weight there. I mean there's still the same weight, but there's more support, I should say. This truck is extremely long because of the big sleeper. I got a 310 inch wheelbase. Most trucks have about a 255, 265 wheelbase. This is 310. So, because of that extra length, they put three drive shafts in. So, it goes transmission, U joint, drive shaft, carrier bearing, U joint, 
uh, drive shaft carrier bearing, U joint, slip sleeve, or slip sheet, uh, slip, slip joint, drive shaft, U joint rear end. Okay, I think I got that right. Anyway, but there's three, so there's, there's, there's two carrier bearings, three drive shafts, and four U joints. Um, because this truck has the, the big 550 with the 1850 torque, they put the heavy duty 18, 18 speed transmission. That's another question I get all the time is why so many gears? It's, it's, with an 18 speed, it's not about how many gears, it's about the toughness of the transmission. Uh, back in the early 2000s, they come out with the 18 speed with this heavy duty transmission. It was, and it was made for the high torque engines that were coming out in that day. Okay. Uh, since then, they've upgraded the, the 13, and I uh, think that the, the 9 speeds and 10 speeds have been upgraded too to a much higher torque level. But back then, if you got a big heavy duty engine and a big heavy duty uh, uh, high horsepower and high torque engine, you had to have the, the machinery behind it. You know, the, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So you can have a huge engine. But a weak transmission, guess what's going to blow up? The transmission, you know. Uh, same thing, if you have a heavy duty transmission, but you got a normal drive shaft in, the drive shaft will blow up. A normal, dri uh, normal uh, drive, drive line on a normal semi, the U joints are 90, 100 bucks maybe, something like that a piece per, per U joint. On this one, 250. Yeah, so. <laughs> Anyway, what happened was the carrier bearing broke, the, the saddle that it sits in, the metal fatigue broke through, okay, and it fell down about a foot, and uh, it was still in there, I got pulled over quick enough before it completely broke and started flopping around, the drive shaft down there is flopping around, it, it tears things up like airlines, uh, electrical wires, uh, uh, you know, it can, it can cut holes in your fuel tank, you know, I mean, it, it can really tear things up. I got really lucky. I got pulled over quick enough, and it was only the drive shaft that was damaged, nothing else. Uh, but still, that was a hefty little piece. Uh, it was a $400 tow bill, and the repair and everything was $2,800, so 30, it was about $3,300 for the repair on this. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so anyway, um, I break down, I call the mechanic. He said he'd be about an hour before he get out there. Okay. So I'm sitting around thinking, hey, this is a good video. So I got the camera out, and I'm walking around talking. I'm over in the ditch and stuff like that. Not ditch, but over on the shoulder. And I'm, I'm talking about I actually crawled up underneath the truck, held the camera up there, showed you all what was going on. Made a pretty good little video out of it. All right? Had all the, all the pieces, all the footage. <laughs> I was editing. Now, this is back when I was editing the... Uh, the calf, uh, the branding, and the, uh, the Rocky Mountain Oyster videos. When I was editing those, I needed to make up space or you know get rid of, clean, clear off some of the video from the, uh, the, the SD cards. And I accidentally erased all the Vegas stuff, or well, about 80% of the Vegas stuff, and all of the breakdown stuff. I erased the wrong card. Uh, you know, I, had all, I had like three different cards plugged in. And uh, uh, had about three different cars plugged in, and uh, you know, uh, drive B or you know, D, E, and F or H or whatever. Uh, all these different plug plugins in the USB slots, <laughs> and I erased the wrong one. So, oops, my bad. So anyway, uh, I don't need to show you that video. Uh, that's why I explained it here, but. So I lost that video and I lost all the Vegas footage. Now, the Vegas footage, everybody's seen Vegas, you know, so it's not that big of a deal, you know. But but uh, the breakdown footage, I kind of I was I was cussing myself on that one. So so anyway, that's what I was doing about about a week and a half ago, uh, a week ago now. That's day, Wednesday. So about a week and a half ago. So um, it was uh, uh, what else? By, by, by the way, uh, my mom and dad were on a trip during that same weekend, and uh, uh, they had a pickup and a, a fifth wheel camper, <laughs> and they uh, they were broke down too. So <laughs> a lot of breakdowns for the family this week or that that week. So they got home safe though. So had tire blowouts and stuff like that. That was their problem. 
So anyway, uh, what else? Uh, what else? Okay, we're doing this Arkansas stuff. We're going to do this until uh, the rest of this week. And then I'm probably going to go home. The first week of June, I will be home because DOT has a great big 72-hour DOT inspection all nationwide. They just really crack down on trucks. Uh, have these huge inspections and everything. Every state, all the way, it's a federal thing, you know. And uh, the feds pay the states to do all these inspections and then send all the reports back to the feds so that they can judge year to year to year to year how healthy the truck industry is as far as safety is concerned and, and maintenance and stuff like that. So anyway, if you know they're going to pick on you that week, go home, you know. So I, I, I've always taken that week off for the last 10 years or so. I, just, I take that week to go home and do stuff at home. Why, why put yourself out there to get in trouble? So, so anyway, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, then after I come back out, I'll be doing the rest of June until the end of June. And then I'm going to go home and get in the van and take off to Kansas for wheat harvest. And then after that, head to Alaska. So you're caught up with what's going on, where I'm at, what, what's going uh, in the future here. Uh, so I guess let's go to music. Ciao.